In this video, I'm going to break down for you how to hook up all of your prop firm accounts with Replicanto so you can copy trade using either NinjaTrader or even being able to execute on TradingView and have it copy across all of your prop firm accounts, whether they're funded accounts or evals or even live funded accounts, all of which can be copy traded using Replicanto. So let's get into it. So first things first, you have to obviously subscribe to Replicanto and I will leave a link for this in the description of the video, but Replicanto by Flowbots is the add-on that you're going to need for Ninja Trader. And if you scroll down here, you have a couple different options. Um, the option that I am going with is the single machine lifetime license. So this will give you lifetime access to Replicanto. It's a one-time cost for one machine. So, you know, you can do the trial option if you would like to. It'll give you seven days of a trial period to try it out. Then once you move on to actually having Replicanto full-time going forward, um, you'll want at least the single machine and potentially the two machines if you're going to be trading, obviously, on more than just one device. You can do yearly subscriptions if you want, but you know, if you are ending up on it for more than one year anyway, then it's going to be more cost efficient to just do the lifetime access, pay a little bit more upfront. And then if you apply the code after you go to add to cart, so if you go ahead and apply the discount code Tyler at checkout, this will give you a 20% discount on your lifetime license and any license that you choose to purchase for Replicanto. So come here, click proceed to checkout. And at this point, this is obviously where you're going to fill in all of your personal information, accept the terms and conditions, add your payment information and all of that. And then once you uh, actually, excuse me, before you go ahead and click place order. So the way that you would find your ID here, what you're going to want to do is open up your Ninja Trader. So for example, as of right now, I have my Ninja Trader pulled up. I will also be showing you guys the Replicanto window as well. But what you're going to want to do in order to find this ID right here that you're going to need in order to connect Replicanto to this, the help tab right here, and then you're going to come down here to third party licensing. So you're going to click third party licensing. And then what you're going to want to type in here is Flowbots. And you want to make sure that you use a capital F and a capital B. So you're going to do Flowbots here in the vendor name. And then when it comes to your user defined ID, you're gonna go ahead and type in whatever the ID for your system that you want to have it recognized with. So for example, if I just wanted to have my ID be Tyler or maybe Tyler Trades, um, I could do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click submit. And then this ID is going to pop up here. You're gonna wanna copy and paste this entire thing. So you're gonna click copy, you can close this out move this up here. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to paste this inside of this. So then when you actually go to place your order, this is how it is going to register your Ninja Trader with Replicanto. So then you can import it and add it, which I'll show you guys here how to do in the next step. But this is what you'll have to do when placing your order. And once you've done this, this will automatically make it super seamless and easy to connect Replicanto to your Ninja Trader. All right, so now that you actually have your Ninja Trader ready to go after you've placed your order, this is how you are going to get it into your Ninja Trader uh, in terms of Replicanto. So you can get the window just like this. Um, so what you're going to want to do, so you're going to go to tools and then you're going to come here to import and then you're going to click on Ninja Script add-on. After you select Ninja Script add-on, this is going to pull up your desktop, your files, wherever you have saved from your order placed, you're going to get a zip file from Replicanto and you do not need to open this zip file at all manually to download anything else. Once you place the order and then download this zip file, from either the email or from your order placed screen, you can go ahead and go to that import section that you just clicked on, Ninja Script add on, and then you're just gonna open the Replicanto zip file in the import section. And then once you do that, it's going to pull open the Replicanto window. If it doesn't populate right away, what you might need to do is come here to the new section on your Ninja Trader, scroll down here to uh, Flowbots, and then you might have to click Replicanto. It, it might ask you to exit out of your Ninja Trader and then reopen it, relaunch it, and log back in. And then once you do that, guys, that's how you open up this Replicanto window. Again, new, 
Flowbots, and then click on Replicanto, and then this window will populate. Now that you have Replicanto downloaded and added on to your Ninja Trader, for anybody that needs help on actually connecting your accounts, this is how I did it. So right now I have my Apex and my Tradeify connections here. So let me just go ahead and disconnect these from my workspace here. And now you guys can see that all I have left is this SIM account. It says Tradeify. I think that's just because of um, an issue I had logging in once upon a time. But what you're going to want to do to add connections to your Ninja Trader guys is come here to this button that says configure. And the reason that I said I had issues once upon a time with logging in was once I created my Ninja Trader account, it kept trying to give me automatically like my live account with Ninja Trader. So what I had to do in order to get this configure button to pop up, I did not have this configure button right away. So what I had to do in order to trick it to pull up this configure button is I had to actually log into Ninja Trader once upon a time with my Tradeify credentials. If you are just getting the configure option right out of the gate, then you will not need to do this. So what you'll have to do to add any of your prop from accounts is come here, click configure, and then you're going to scroll down to just Ninja Trader. You do not want to click on Ninja Trader Continuum. You want to click on just Ninja Trader. Double click that. And then from here, you can name it whatever you want, right? So if you were, you know, putting in, you know, my fund of futures accounts, maybe you just name it MFF, uh, Apex, name it Apex, Tradeify, so on and so forth. Keep it simple that way. And then what you're going to do is you are going to input the credentials from that prop firm into the username section and then your credentials for the password. A lot of the passwords are going to be auto generated. So you'll have to go to your dashboard for that prop firm and then input your specific username and password. And then after that, you can go ahead and click apply and OK. And then from there, under the connections tab, you will see that you have access to whatever connection you've made. Apex, Tradeify are the ones that I have connected currently. So if I want to connect my accounts, I just go ahead and go to the connections toggle them on and boom, just like that, it will populate my accounts. And now to get into the actual use of Replicanto and getting these, you know, trades to sync up. But the way that you do this is you select the leader account. Let's just say you wanted to copy trade every single one of your accounts right now. This Apex uh, 0006 is the leader account. And if I wanted to make all of these accounts copy trade, I would just go ahead and select all of these and make sure they're all toggled on. The options that you have here, ATM copy, if you do this, this is going to be simply copying only the trades that you use the ATM strategy for on your Ninja Trader. So if you guys aren't familiar with what an ATM strategy is, this would be like if I were to set up bracket orders, essentially, it would only copy the trades from the bracket orders that I have set up with this ATM strategy. So you guys can see here that I have ATM strategy set to none. So I wouldn't want to have this toggled on. If I had it toggled on and I selected a trade, it might actually mess up the copy trading and it might not copy trade at all. If you only wanted your Ninja Trader or your Replicanto to copy trade just your market orders, you would then select just the market only entries. Now, if you do this, it's not going to actually copy trade any bracket orders or any limit orders that you would place on your leader account because it's only going to execute from the market executions only. So for me personally, what I do is I just toggle all of this off. I don't have any of this toggled on. I just have the accounts that I want to trade on. And then the only other thing that you would want to maybe consider is if let's say you have some accounts that are bigger than others. So therefore, let's say I just want these you know, uh, Apex accounts to trade, let's say the NQ, but I want the Tradeify accounts to trade the MNQ, I would click this cross order tab. And by doing that, that is going to trade MNQ for these accounts versus NQ for these accounts. And the way that I would change the ratios is right here. So if I wanted to change the ratio uh, between these, so right now it's a one ratio, right? So if I do a cross order, where I have MNQ being traded on the Tradeify accounts and NQ traded on the Apex accounts, the way that this would work would be for every one mini that I put on the Apex accounts, it would put one micro onto the uh, Tradeify accounts. So if I wanted to change the ratio, let's say I wanted to do five micros for every you know one mini that goes on these Tradeify accounts, I would just change the amount here to five uh, zero zero right so if i do five 
zero, zero, then that is going to automatically put five micros for every one mini that gets traded on these accounts. And you can make this any variation that you want. What I do is I trade the Apex accounts and the Tradeify accounts separately. So I just do exact quantity, exact you know ratio. I don't want any differences there. And all I do is, like I said, I trade them separately. So right now I have the Apex accounts on, therefore I have one leader account and I have these two following for the moment. And if I wanted to change that, maybe I wanna do my Tradeify accounts, you can see the other Apex account comes back here into the list and the leader account goes over here and then I just toggle on the accounts that I want to follow. Now, the only important aspect of this that you'll have to keep in mind, so right now I have the Tradeify accounts on here. So what I would want to do, my leader account is 0002. Whatever instrument I'm going to be trading, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have that selected. So if you're trading minis, make sure you have mini selected. If you're trading, um, uh, micros, then you want to have micro selected, so on and so forth. So just make sure that is in alignment. The other thing that you're going to want to make sure is in alignment, guys, is going to be the actual instrument that you're trading, right? So right now in Replicanto, I have it set to minis. Because I'm trading minis, I would obviously want it to be set to the minis chart right here. So that way I'm placing everything that is in alignment with my Replicanto settings, right? I don't wanna have different settings because then it's not gonna copy trade across my accounts. So I gotta make sure that I'm, if I'm trading minis, I have mini selected here and I have mini selected over here. And then the other important aspect to this guys is just make sure that you have the proper leader account over here on Ninja Trader for your chart trader as well. For those of you guys that don't know chart trader, this is what you need to actually place trades on your ninja trader. So you can turn this off if you want. You can keep it hidden if you want. I just keep the chart trader on. It's just the order panel for me. And all that I do is just make sure everything I have is set correctly. And then when I place any orders here on the leader account, it will automatically copy to the accounts that I have set to follow over here on Replicanto. Now, the other cool component about this, guys, is I personally like to execute on uh, TradingView specifically. It's just my favorite platform of choice. That's where choice. That's where I'm doing my charting anyway. So what I personally decide to do is if you come here on TradingView to your trading panel, you can log into either Tradevate or Ninja Trader. It really doesn't matter. But what you're gonna do is you're going to log in to whatever whatever your leader account is. Okay. So if your leader account for me, I'm gonna be trading the Tradeify account. So I'm gonna use my Tradeify login credentials i'm going to click connect and now you can see that i'm logged in to my leader account for the tradeify account that i want to be trading so now if i place any trades at all if i place any trades at all on the leader account while i have replicanto running you do need to keep ninja trader and replicanto open in the background so if you have another screen you can put them off to the side on there or if you just want to again minimize them keep them running in the background but you do need to have them open and running in order for this to work so any executions that I would place on these accounts on TradingView will copy to the accounts that I have following. I guess what I can do is I can come over here to micros and let me just actually, I'll just show you guys an example because this will probably just make everything a lot easier. But since I'm going to be doing a practice dummy trade here um, to kind of show you guys what's going on, I will come over here and I'm actually going to change some of this around a little bit. So I'm gonna come here to Replicanto. I'm gonna change my leader account to Apex. Uh, I'm gonna to toggle off these Tradeify accounts. I'm gonna copy trade Apex here. I'm gonna change this to Micros because I wanna be just doing Micros for this example. And uh, I'll uh, put Replicanto back up here. So I got this on and running. Let me change this to Apex, the leader account, and I'm gonna come over here to Micros as well. And so what I'm going to do, or what I'm gonna to try to show you guys, let me see if I can minimize my charts here a little bit so I can show you guys both of these at the same time. So now I'm showing you guys obviously trading view. I have the right Apex account selected. So I have the leader account selected. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys having the ability to copy trade on trading view. So again, I have the leader account selected. Let me go ahead and log into the Apex account now so i can show you guys just an example here so i have the leader account selected 0006 uh, through these accounts and now if i were to again place a trade on this leader account i have the leader account selected over here you have to have the leader account selected over here on ninja trader and you have to have the correct leader account on replicanto selected in order for this to work i've got micro contracts over here i'm on the mnq chart over here on the ninja trader chart and I'm going to execute here on 
trading view and i'm just going to show you guys how this populates over here on ninja trade let me go to the one minute chart and i'll just show you guys i'm just going to do one micro just to show you guys this working across the accounts um so let's do this first i'm going to just go ahead and click uh we just took out a high now nah, let's get lucky let's go let's go for a long here so little example trade here with one micro and you guys can see here if i drag this down you guys can see that it did copy trade across these three accounts right so it didn't just take it on the leader it also took it on these other ones even though i placed the trade over here on trading view so the same thing happens over here if i go ahead and let's say i were to set a stop loss right here you can see the sell stop goes in here on uh, ninja trader as well automatically if i change it at all it will also adjust it over on ninja trader as well so let me just put this up here right at break even see if we can get a little break even stop right there boom so break even stop it went ahead and took me out of the trades across all these apex accounts all while executing here specifically on trading view so to me this is kind of the best of both worlds for me because i want to be able to execute on trading view be able to execute and look at charts all in the same place and then have my accounts all be copy traded here on replicanto so guys that pretty much does it this is how you can connect your prop firm accounts to ninja trader and then obviously connect them all via replicanto again if you want to add accounts all you do is just toggle them on and off here with this green dot right here this connection dot and obviously if you were ever in a trade and you wanted to just flatten all kind of like as an emergency you could just come here while you're in a trade click flatten all and it's going to automatically cut all of your trades off but again just a couple things to keep in mind is you do need to have a ninja trader open and running even if you are going to execute on trading view you still want to have the ninja trader platform and replicanto open again either on another screen or just running in the background in order for that to work but you could also just execute right here on ninja trader chart as well and just use your trading view charts for you know charting analysis uh etc there is a little bit of a latency executing on trading view versus executing directly on ninja trader so it's really just up to you if that's a, a bother for you or not if it's not a big deal and you want to use trading view there you go and if you want to execute on ninja trader then that's fine as well but um, hopefully this helps guys i know the setup process of the replicanto add-on can sometimes be a little tedious as well as configuring your accounts into ninja trader but once you get it up and running guys it is extremely seamless and honestly just makes trading and copy trading extremely extremely easy across all these accounts but if i did miss anything if you guys have any questions about anything feel free to drop them in the comments below like the video if this did help if you want to save 20 percent off of your replicanto license use the code tyler at checkout and that'll save you a little bit of money when you place your order guys i appreciate you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one